Now we look at a term called highest common factor or commonly known as HCF. So it, essentially what the uh, HCF is, it's actually just looking at uh, the factors of two numbers and then finding the biggest one that is common to both. So for example, let's look at say 28 and 35. So 28 will have the factors 1, 2, 4 is a factor, 7, 14, and 28. Where 35 will have the factors 1, 5, 7, and 35. So as you can see here, the only common ones are 1 and 7. So the highest common factor, the highest factor, is actually 7, right? because uh, the rest of the numbers are not the same. Uh, so what happens if we are looking at bigger numbers? So 300, this example, 330 and 460, you definitely cannot go uh, list down all the uh, factors of each of the numbers. So what you can do is uh, the technique that we learned previously, prime factorization. So here, we will break them down to the uh, prime numbers. So you break them down, sorry, it's 110, you break them further, it's, oh, you break them down 110, you break them down further, it's 5 and 22, break them down, it's 2 to 11, 460, you break them down 2, 230, 2, 115, 5 and 23. So here you can actually see all the uh, prime factors that these numbers are made up of. So you line them up, so 330 equals to 2 times 3 times 5 times 11 and 460 equals to uh, 2 times 2, these two numbers, times 5 times 23. So what you do now is that you find out the common ones, so in the case there's a 2 and in this case there's a 5 so you take the common ones, uh, these are the common factors, and the CF you calculate by multiplying the common factors. In this case, 2 is a common factor, 5 is a common factor, and HCF is actually 10. For this. So now let's look at uh, LCM, the lowest common multiple. We just rub this off. <coughs> when we look at the LCM of two numbers, we are trying to see which are the multiples of these two numbers are the same. So for example, let's take uh, 6 and 9 and list down the multiples of 6. So 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, and uh, so on. So we list down the multiples. 36, 42, 48, 54, okay let's stop at 60, and 9, uh, we list down the multiples, it's 9, 9 times 2, 18, 27, 9 times 4, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, and so on. So right from here we can see that the common multiples are 18, because they both have 18, uh, 36, they both have 36. So these are the common multiples. So the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple, will be the lower number of all these common multiples, and in this case, it's 18. So what happens if we have bigger numbers? Are we going to list down all of them? Because it's going to take a lot of time. So we can also use uh, prime factorization to find them out. So let's take the uh, example, let's find the LCM of say 36 and also let's find the uh, of 36 and 120. So 36 by doing prime factorization, you can see 3 and 12. Break them down to 2 and 6 and 2 and 3. So 120, you can break them down to 2 and 60. 3 and 20, uh, 10 and 2, 10 and 2 and 5, 2 and 5. 
so if you can see so 36 is actually 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 whereas 120 is equals to 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 by 5 so unlike how you find HCF uh, and uh, where you only multiply the numbers that have a common for LCM you just list down the numbers and if they are common you just list uh, one of them so in this case 2 and 2 is common so you just list one of them 2 and 2 is common you list one of them 3 and 3 is common you list one of them 3 is alone so you list it and 5 is alone you list it so in this case you multiply them so the LCM of this equation is actually 360 after multiply Okay, we clear the page and now we are going to look at a term called square roots. So previously we looked at squares, so if you take a number and we multiply by itself, we get the square of a number, in this case 3 square. So a square root is actually the opposite of that. So if we find a square root, which is denoted by this sign, of a bigger number, we are actually finding out what number multiplied by itself gives you this number in this case 9 so 9 is actually 3 times 3 so the square root of 9 is actually square root of 3 square so therefore the square root of 9 is actually 3 so what happens if you have a bigger number and it's uh, not so straightforward so you can actually use uh, prime factorization again to help you to find out. So for example, we have a number 484. Uh, so this is actually made up of 4 and 1, 2, 1. This is made up of 2 and 2. This is made up of 11 by 11. So if you want to find out the square root of 484, this is actually the same as square root of 2 square these two numbers 2 times 2 multiply by 11 square which is 11 by 11 so you multiply these four numbers you get 4 4 it's the same so you can take out the square so it cancels off the square root of the square so you actually get 2 times 11 and the square root of 4 4 is actually 22 and this can be used to uh, calculate the length of a square when you're given an area because when you look at a square the lengths are the same so the area is essentially the square of the length length square so if a question asks you to find the length and they give you an area for example uh, 484 they tell you that the uh, area is 484 you need to find out the length all you have to do is to square root this number and you will get the result and the length of this square is actually 22 cm similarly when we look at uh, cube roots a cube is actually when the number is multiplied three times for example three times three times three we can actually call this three cube so if we want to look at a cube root which is given by this sign of a number say 27 we are actually looking at what number multiply three times of itself you will give it 27 and in this case we are looking at 3 multiply by itself three times will give you 27 so the answer of cube root of 27 is actually 3 so with bigger numbers likewise you can use prime factorization so if we want to find the uh, cube root of a number say 216 we can use uh, prime factorization to find out the prime factors of the number so it's 5 455 2 and 2 6 and 9 2 times 3 is 6 3 times 3 is 9 so these are the prime factors of the number so we can say that 216 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 
these three tools. Uh, times three times three times three, which gives you two cube times three cube. So if we are looking at the cube root of two one six, we are actually looking at the cube root of two cube times three cube, which is two times three equals to six. So when we look at <coughs> sorry, when we look at volumes of a cube, a volume is actually length cube. So if you are given the volume of a cube, you can actually find the length by giving the cube root of the volume you will get the length. So if the volume is 216, the length will be 6. Uh, 